Hey, ladies. Ladies. Hey, ladies. You want to roll? Well, it's not my Mercedes. But we got a guy here whose Mercedes you might be able to roll. Actually, I doubt he has a Mercedes. Welcome to the Prepper Dating Service, Volume Dos. Two. Two. Volume Two. Uh, 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 Zvi, maybe. Volume Zvi. Okay, here we go. We got a gentleman uh, who uh, has put himself out there as the next contestant on the Prepper Dating Service. I do not have an update for you on the first volume of the Prepper Dating Service, except to say that we did our part and we got the ball rolling. And that, after that part, after that point, we're going to step back, hands off. Uh, but uh, we, uh, Naya, buddy, I'm sorry, don't, not in there. Mama planted stuff there. Sorry, guys. <laughs> um, uh, so uh, let me get my uh, train of thought back. Boom. So he who finds a wife findeth a good thing. We're going to help this gentleman try to find a wife. He's 40, uh, got a job, uh, got a vision for the future. Uh, this guy, this guy is particular. He's looking for a very, very, very specific woman uh, or a very specific type of woman. Uh, this gentleman is, uh, I, won't, I won't go so far as to say he's Hebrew roots, but he, he, he is very sympathetic to, to our beliefs. I think he's very sympathetic to, say, some of the other channels that uh, respond, correspond to this one. He, he looks at, at the Christian faith and sort of reconciles it with the Old Testament uh, instead of separating the two. Uh, he definitely wants more children. This is a man who wants to build a tribe. Uh, he has one child already from a previous relationship. Like I said, he's 40, he's strong, he's healthy. He is looking to relocate from, from where he's at to, to someone out, somewhere out in the boonies. He wants to be in the mountains, uh, somewhere out in the country, and work on a homestead, going off grid, uh, establishing a community, and, uh, and preparing for the future. So if you don't want children, uh, this, this gentleman's not for you. Also, he is... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to dodge controversy here for the moment. If he he subscribes to a, a version of biblical families and patriarchy uh, that is very uh, contrary to uh, the modern view. So if, if you're uh, if if you're going to be a modern woman and and demand uh, to be treated like a modern woman, this isn't the gentleman for you. The phrase for you to look up if you want to if you want to see what you think about this guy is biblical families. Uh, if, <laughs> you know what, let me, let me go a step farther. Let me send you to a website, uh, biblicalfamilies.org. Uh, check out that website. He's not on there. He's not affiliated with them. He might not endorse all of that. But if you as a wife and a woman aren't, aren't okay with, with what you saw on that, that website, then you need, just need to go ahead and move on and, and don't waste your time with this guy because he knows what he wants. He's got a vision for his future. It involves children. It involves family. It involves uh, uh, being a part of a community that that will sustain itself no matter what comes, whether you know the world collapses like a flan. I can't remember what book that was from. There was some book that that's from, uh, or if thing if the if the society at large keeps going as it is for the next 500 years, he doesn't want to be a part of it. He doesn't want his children to be a part of it. He wants to establish something different. So if you're a woman, is still a child bearing bearing age. And uh, and you know what a biblical family is, and you're willing to be a part of it. Let us know. We got a guy uh, who we might be able to hook you up with. Like I said, he his goal at at some point is to, to relocate. Uh, he's a breadwinner, by the way. This is not a guy who's looking for you to take care of him. He's a breadwinner, but he does want to relocate to a uh, a place in the country, preferably in the mountains, and uh, and preferably somewhere where uh, he can be uh, near like-minded individuals. So location maybe isn't necessarily that big of a, of a concern if, uh, if, if, yeah, it's just not that big of a concern. So there you go. Let us know. Like I said, I, the, the, this, there may not be too many people out there for this guy. Uh, uh, he's unique. He's looking for something unique. But if you're unique, let us know. We'll hook you up. Thanks, guys. Gals.